दिस इज आकाशवाणी द न्यूज रेड बाय अभिषेक मुखोपाध्याय The Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha have been adjourned till 2 p.m. after both the houses of parliament continue to witness uproar today over the lower house security breach issue. When the Lok Sabha met this morning, opposition members including Congress, TMC, DMK, JDU and others trooped into the well raising slogans against the government for lapses in the security of Lok Sabha. They were also protesting over the suspension of opposition members over the issue. The members were holding play cards and demanding Home Minister Amit Shah's statement and discussion in the house over the issue. Amit Din, the presiding officer, adjourned the house till 2 p.m. minutes after it met for the day. Similar scenes were witnessed in the Rajya Sabha. Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar disallowed the adjournment notices moved by the opposition members over the security breach issue. The chairman said investigation in the matter is underway and it will reach its logical conclusion. Members from Congress, TMC, DMK, left and others started protesting over the security breach issue, seeking government statement over it. The chairman asked the leader of the house, leader of the opposition and floor leaders to meet him in his chamber. Amid pandemonium, the house was adjourned till 2 p.m. Parliament Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi today criticized the opposition over his protest on the issue. Talking to media and parliament, Mr. Joshi said the opposition should have responsibly as it was very sensitive matter he added that a high level investigation is underway on the parliament's security breach issue the minister said that matter is also in the court and whatever directions were given by the lok sabha speaker the government is following it in letter and spirit home minister amit shah has said that wednesday's security breach incident in parliament was a serious lapse speaking at a media event in new delhi yesterday mr shah assured the people of the country that stringent measures will be taken to strengthen the security system in the days to come suspended members of parliament of opposition parties protested in front of mahatma gandhi statue in parliament complex this morning they were demanding to revoke their suspension housing and urban affairs minister hardeep singh puri has said india will put a man on the moon before 2040 Addressing the media New Delhi, Hardeep Singh Puri said that the Gaganyaan project envisages demonstration of human space flight capability. He said that the Indian space sector has made massive strides in the last nine years. Mr. Puri said that India is on the way to expand its global space economy share from two to ten percent, adding that India's space economy stands at eight billion dollars and is expected to reach hundred billion dollars in the coming decade. He said about 51 space craft missions have been launched post 2014. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that Pariksha Pe Charcha aims to transform stress into success, enabling exam warriors to ace exams with a smile. Mr. Modi said, "Who knows? The next big study tip might come straight from the interactive session." Nation is paying homage to Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel on his death anniversary today. Fondly known as the Iron Man of India, Sardar Patel brought together more than 500 princely states with India. He served as the first Deputy Prime Minister of India and also held the home portfolio. Iran has decided to unilaterally cancel visa requirements for visitors from 33 more countries, including India. The list also includes Russia, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Japan, and the UAE. The decision is aimed at boosting tourist arrivals and attracting more visitors from countries. around the world Iranian Minister of Cultural Heritage Tourism and Handicrafts Izatullah Zarghami said efforts to boost tourism can neutralize Iranophobia campaigns Sultan of Oman Haitham bin Tariq will arrive in New Delhi this evening on a 3 day state visit to India he will be accompanied by a high level delegation including senior ministers and officials he is scheduled to hold bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi tomorrow Mr Modi will also host a luncheon in his honor. In women's cricket England were 67 for 2 in the first innings at lunch on day 2 of the one of test in Mumbai today. Earlier after resuming the first innings at the overnight score of 410 runs with loss of 7 wickets India were bowled out for 428. And that is the end of this news bulletin.